The dynasty of college football, the Alabama Crimson Tide win a thriller in overtime. Ahead at six, what players say happened during halftime. W's for Nick Saban and his team have meant dollars for the university. Coming up, we're going to explore the growth that has encompassed all of Tuscaloosa and ask the question, how long can this keep going? Temperatures finally where they should be for January. Highs today were mostly in the 50s. Some spots could approach 70 by Thursday, but an Arctic blast for the weekend. And could we see a few snowflakes Friday night? I've got full forecast details coming up on ABC 3340 News at 6 o'clock. That starts now. Now, ABC 3340 News at 6. It's just a great opportunity to be here. It's a blessing as, as well, and I, I got no sleep at all last night. This was a great win for our, our players, and I've never been happier in my life. The national champions are back home tonight. Alabama fans everywhere certainly celebrating the 17th national championship today. A good evening to you. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Christopher Sign. And I'm Brenda Ledon. We're glad you're joining us tonight. The, the Tide is taking the national championship title once again after a nail biter of a game against the Georgia Bulldogs. And our Elizabeth Lane is in Tuscaloosa. We hope to hear from her soon. She was there when they came back into Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa, what an exciting time. A lot of fans didn't get much sleep overnight, no. Christopher. Uh, they were so excited and got up early to meet the team as well. But we also want to tell you that tomorrow the National Championship Trophy will be on display at stores in Northport and Tuscaloosa. Of course, Thursday you can uh, also see and take your picture with the actual 24 karat gold trophy at the Winn Dixie on McFarland Boulevard in Northport from 4 until 7. And from Friday at the Walmart on Skyland Boulevard in Tuscaloosa from 4 until 7. They just had to put it on autopilot to bring it back to Tuscaloosa. You know, it's very simple for that's <laughs> for, right for that's the trophy. Right. You know, the hardware coming back to Tuscaloosa, not really a, a big surprise, if you will, for for many. But certainly the university is able to cash in every single time Alabama wins a national title. That's right. And ABC 3340's Stephen Quinn joins us now live on the strip in Tuscaloosa. Stephen, football at Alabama is certainly a multi-million dollar business. Uh, that is certainly the case, Chris, and even the most uh, hardy of Alabama fans perhaps could not have seen five championships in the last nine years and also the changes that were coming to a town that many a decade ago would have called a small college town. You put it all together and it's what people here simply call the Saban effect. A decade ago, Nick Saban.